welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. It's about 9.30 in the morning, but you would never know it from looking outside. It is so dark and dreary today. It's pouring rain. It sort of has that Monday morning feel about it. Um, I've been up since just after 7 and have got, actually got quite a bit accomplished. I finished editing and processing and uploading yesterday's Vlogmas. Um, got my first load of laundry going and I did some work on Cameron's socks uh, for Christmas. So uh, now that he's back to work, I can pull them out and work on them on and off through the day. At least that's the plan. So I am just about to make myself some breakfast. I'm gonna flip this around. I don't know if I can do that while it's running. <laughs> Such an amateur. <laughs> uh, hang on. I am going to make my own version of an Egg McMuffin. We had um, some ham for dinner yesterday, but lots left over. So I've cut a little piece there. And some cheese, an egg, English muffin. And I've got the frying pan all heated up, ready to go here. So uh, that is what I'm going to have for breakfast today. So there you go. I made a few tater tots to go with it. I'm going to sit here, eat my breakfast, and watch a little YouTube. Here I am, back in front of the Christmas tree. <laughs> I am really struggling to find a place to record this morning. It is just so dark outside. Um, the winds started to pick up too. Uh, not that that has anything to do with uh, the light, <laughs> but uh, just a little weather report for you. Uh, in any case, if I sit here, I can uh, aim my ot light at me from that direction, and then I can turn on a lamp um, there, and that helps provide some uh, illumination too. Uh, and besides, I think it's a pretty backdrop. So, like I said, I put some work in on my husband's socks this morning. I did at least a couple of inches. So, I'm hoping that bit by bit over the next few days I can get them finished. Uh, but, you know, if I don't, it's not the end of the world. I can wrap them up with the needles still in them and uh, finish them up over the holidays. I know he won't mind. And uh, trust me, he is not lacking for socks. So not too concerned. I, uh, while we were uh, chatting to the family last night on Zoom, man, that was just so great. Um, for the first while we were just chatting, so I was able to knit and talk. So I put in um, my next stripe of my sock. Can I bring that in closer? Is that gonna affect the light? There you go really pretty and then I worked on my shawl a little bit too before um, once we started playing games I had to put it down but I did start it the <laughs> gorgeous with the black I just think that's so pretty together I always have liked black and pink together I should do a black and pink sweater Anyway, I thought that was really lovely. So um, a few more rows to go on that stripe. But um, yeah, I guess I'm falling behind because I still have one more I haven't done. And now I'm going to open day 21. I'm going to be a little bit more behind on that too. But that's okay. It's just, uh, that's the way it is. I will be, sorry, the light keeps going darker and lighter. I think it has to do with how I'm moving and maybe what's coming in through the window. I don't know. Anyway, I have, see how empty this is getting? Day 21, right there. Only a few left. Is, I think almost maybe 
just a little more purpley than the top I was wearing yesterday when I predicted that it would be the same color. I'm going to have to grab it and see how close it is. On screen, it is looking much lighter than it is in real life. I don't know if that helps or not. Eh, not really. Best I can do. So, that's going to look lovely next to those. All right, I heard the washing machine uh, just end uh, as I sat down here. So I am going to go transfer that load to the dryer and put a new load into the washer. Uh, today I did my least favorite load first. That would be the black load. Um, it's a game I play with myself. Do I want to start out easy with something like jeans, which when they come out of the dryer, there's like three or four pairs to fold up, or do I want to do the harder or they're not hard loads, they're just, you know, more items in them and take more work. So sometimes I do the easy ones first and sometimes I do the hard ones first. So today I thought I'd get the hard ones out of the way first so that uh, as the day progresses, my job gets a little bit I don't know if you can tell, but uh, there is snow mixed in with those raindrops out there. And as you can probably see, the rain is absolutely pouring down and I am inexplicably choosing this time to go out and deliver presents to um, two of my sister's homes and my youngest son's. Uh, I just spoke to one sister who lives up on the hill. She said it's snowing more up there, uh, but it's really wet and it's not sticking. And I have snow tires, so I'm not worried about that. But uh, a couple minutes ago, it was definitely more snow than rain. Now it seems to be more rain than snow. Uh, there's my dryer buzzing, so I'm going to go fold that load of clothes before I leave and um, get another one. Uh, another load switched over. So there's the box of cheer I get to deliver. Some of the gifts are from us and some are from my mom. Uh, we're playing Santa Claus on her behalf. Uh, so that's my uh, younger son's stocking. I made all the kids Christmas stockings when they were little. Um, normally the boys come uh, and spend Christmas morning with us and we all open presents together but of course this year we're not allowed to gather in person and so I have loaded up his stocking and will deliver it for to his place so he has it to open on his own on Christmas morning. I will not be delivering our older sons and his fiance's things until uh, probably Christmas Eve we were uh, warned that uh, our future daughter-in-law um, could not guarantee that she wouldn't be tempted to open them before Christmas morning. So we're gonna we're going to put off the temptation as long as possible. <laughs> so here's the view from inside the car. <laughs> Crazy! I'm sitting in my car waiting for all the windows to defog. It looks like the city is going around and clearing out all the storm drains. We were expecting and have received quite a bit of rain in a short space of time. So it uh, looks like they're done with that one and they're going to be moving on. Up at my sister's house, she lives on the hill, so you can see it's definitely a lot more wintry up here. I'm heading back down the hill now to my other sister's place. We call ourselves the Valley Folk Below. We have two sisters that live up here, and then the other two of us live down in the valley. Time to get out of here. I am back home again, standing on my front porch, and I just thought I would show you when it quiets down. <laughs> Just how little snow we have here compared to where both of my sisters live. There they definitely had winter snow, not only covering 
cars and grass, but also the roads. We're here, we still just have a light layer of slush on our roads. Um, but I'm glad I went out when I did, and it is good to be home. I didn't only take Christmas where I went, I brought some home too. I am really looking forward to putting these under the tree. There's uh, not much under there yet. There, that's more like it. And then I still need to get uh, Cameron's things wrapped up and put under there. But um, looking very festive all of a sudden. One sister gave us a bag of treats and I am not waiting until Christmas to open it. So let's see what's inside. Looks like maybe some cookies in the front there. Yes, looks like shortbread to me. I was going to make some, but I haven't yet. What's this? Ooh, it looks like peppermint bark. Oh yes, look it. Oh, can't wait to sample that. These are one of my favorite treats. They are coconut on the outside. There's like a white chocolate um, shell, I guess, covered in coconut and then like a coconut cream and a, uh, I think it's an almond in the middle. Maybe it's a hazelnut. It's by the same people who do um, Ferrero Rocher and you can get um, collections from Ferrero Rocher that have these in there. That's when I first tried them. And it looks like some either candied or spiced nuts. Gonna have to give those a try too. Well, yum. Well, I open it up. There are actually three different things in that bag. It looks like an almond roca, kind of a nut and cranberry mixture with the dark chocolate, and then some peppermint bark. So definitely gonna enjoy those. All this excitement over the snow, I forgot we bought the hummingbird feeder heater. And I would say if there's ever a time we should put it in use, it would be now. There, that's better. It's basically just a little cup with a light bulb in it that uh, sits next to the nectar and keeps it from freezing and I'm hoping it prevents the uh, holes from getting uh, snow icing over on them too. I think I them out with a turkey skewer and hopefully our little friends can come and uh, get some nectar now. It is a little after 3.30 and I thought I would give you one last look at the snow before it gets too dark. As you can see, it is truly snowing now. Although, if you can hear the water uh, coming from the neighbor's downspout, it will give you some hint that it is a very wet snow. Um, I can see little tracks here on the deck. I'm not quite sure what caused them. Maybe a cat. We have a black and white cat that likes to hang around our yard. Um, don't see anything at the feeders at the moment. Oh, I see a bird in the tree there. As you can imagine, the feeders have been busy all day. And uh, unfortunately, though, I have not seen a hummingbird come to the hummingbird feeder, even though I've been sitting at the kitchen table for most of the afternoon, trying to catch up on some correspondence. Hopefully they will find what they need and uh, I have heard that they will go into kind of a almost a hibernation when it gets really cold out so I trust that they will be well during this uh, bit of bad weather. According to the forecast we may get anywhere from four to six inches in all but I'd say we have maybe an inch or so maybe maybe two inches now. I'm not really anticipating a lot more, but we'll see. I realized partway through today that um, 
instead of going out of town late last week, uh, my husband was supposed to be going out of town uh, today overnight until tomorrow. So I'm really glad that he missed having to travel in all of this. I'm sure the highways are a mess. So I am uh, going to go back indoors. I'm not wearing a jacket and it's not exactly warm out here. <laughs> is about five to six. I just heard from Cameron a short while ago and he is on his way home from work but he said the highway is pretty slow going because of the snow so I am anticipating that it's going to take him longer than usual to get here. Um, I've just noticed that this section of the tree now has burnt out lights so I think what we're going to have to do at some point is just take off all of the pre-strung ones and then just put lights up manually uh, from now on. It's kind of disappointing that they've gone out in big sections rather than just a bulb here and a bulb there. Anyway, I think I am gonna call that it for day 21. I do not anticipate doing anything exciting or vlog worthy before the end of the day. I think after supper, we'll probably just uh, try and get the rest of our gifts wrapped up um, and hopefully I'll have a chance to get a little bit of advent knitting in. So I um, hope you've had a good December 21st and I will see you again tomorrow. Good night.